Hey guys, Jim here. Today, we're gonna go over some fetal echo registry review questions that will help you study for your upcoming ARDMS boards. Let's get started. Question one, what should be performed on this patient immediately following birth? A, rash kind procedure, B, cardiac transplantation, C, put on an ECMO machine, or D, prostaglandin infusion. The answer is D, prostaglandin infusion. This patient has interrupted aortic arch, and these types of patients need to be put on prostaglandins following birth to keep their patent ductus arteriosus open. Question two, which of the following is the best way to obtain the ductal arch from the three vessel view? A, align the pulmonary artery to the descending aorta vertically and then rotate the transducer through 90 degrees to get the sagittal view of the ductal arch. B, align the superior vena cava to the descending aorta horizontally and then rotate the transducer through 45 degrees to get the sagittal view of the ductal arch. C, align the aorta to the descending aorta vertically and then rotate the transducer through 90 degrees to get the sagittal view of the ductal arch. Or is it D, align the pulmonary artery to the spine vertically and then rotate the transducer through 30 degrees to get the sagittal view of the ductal arch. The answer is A, align the pulmonary artery to the descending aorta vertically and then rotate the transducer through 90 degrees to get the sagittal view of the ductal arch. Question three, what is demonstrated in this ultrasound? A, tetralogy of Fallot, B, double outlet right ventricle, C, truncus arteriosus, or D, transposition of the great arteries. The answer is C, truncus arteriosus. Question four, what is another name for 22Q11 deletion? A, Edward syndrome, B, Pateau syndrome, C, Down syndrome, or D, D. George syndrome. The answer is D, D. George syndrome. Question five, what vein becomes the SVC or the superior vena cava? A, right vital line vein, B, left vital line vein, C, right anterior cardinal vein, or D, left anterior cardinal vein? The answer is C, right anterior cardinal vein. Question six, the short axis view of the ventricles can be used to evaluate all of the following except A, fetal arrhythmias, B, ventricular free wall thickness, C, interventricular septal defect evaluation, or D, ventricular chamber size? The answer is A, fetal arrhythmias. Question seven, which modality transmits the highest amount of energy into the fetus? A, 2D imaging, B, pulse wave Doppler, C, power Doppler, or D, M mode? The answer is B, pulse wave Doppler. Question eight, all of the following structures can be seen on the routine four chamber heart view except A, foramen ovale flap bulging from right atrium to left atrium, B, moderator band present in the right ventricle, C, septal attachments of the tricuspid valve to the interventricular septum, or D, aortic wall continuity with the interventricular septum. The answer is D, aortic wall continuity with the interventricular septum. Question nine, 
The best view for evaluating a conoventricular or perimembranous ventricular septal defect is A, apical four-chamber view, B, subcussal four-chamber view, C, long axis view of the aorta, or D, long axis view of the pulmonary artery. The answer is B, subcussal four-chamber view. Question 10. When diagnosing a fetal heart defect, the four-chamber heart view will be abnormal in what percent of all defects? A, 10%, B, 20%, C, 40%, or D, 60%? The answer is D, 60%. Question 11. What type of surgery or procedure is performed to treat the CHD? A, Domeski Stanzel, B, Jatin, C, Norwood, or D, Rastelli? This patient has double outlet right ventricle, and the best option to treat this is the Rastelli. Question 12, what is the best view to evaluate the aortic valve in face? A, short axis view of the great vessels, B, subcostal four chamber view, C, long axis view of the aorta, or D, long axis view of the pulmonary artery? The answer is A, short axis view of the great vessels. Question 13, what should be performed on this patient immediately following birth? A, Rashkind procedure, B, J teen, C, put on an ECMO machine, or D, prostaglandin infusion. The correct answer is the rash kind procedure. So the rash kind procedure is where they create an opening in the atrial septum. This allows the oxygenated blood to mix with the non-oxygenated blood in order to help perfuse the baby until further action can be taken for the underlying issue. Question 14. In the short axis view of the great vessels, all of the following can be demonstrated except A, foramenal valley, B, pulmonic valve, C, left atrium, or D, left ventricle. The answer is D, left ventricle. Question 15. The heart develops from which primary germ cell layer? A, endoderm, B, mesoderm, C, ectoderm, or D, basoderm. The answer is B, mesoderm. Basoderm is actually a medication that treats eczema. Mesoderm is the correct answer. Question 16. What type of cardiac mass is demonstrated in this video? A, myxoma. B, fibroma, C, rhabdomyoma, or D, hemangioma. The answer is D, hemangioma. Question 17, what type of rhythm does this end mode represent? A, atrial fibrillation, B, supraventricular tachycardia, C, complete heart block, or D, bradycardia.
The answer is C, complete heart block. Question 18, what structure is labeled number one? A, left ventricle, B, right atrium, C, right ventricle, or D, left atrium? What is number one? The answer is D, left atrium. Question 19, what view is this? A, parasol long axis, B, apical three chamber view, C, apical five chamber view, or D, parasol short axis view. The answer is C, apical five chamber view. Question 20, what view is demonstrated here? A, aortic arch, B, ductal arch, C, parasitical short axis, or D, right ventricular outflow tract? The answer is B, ductal arch. Question 21. All of the following are indications for a fetal echocardiography exam except A. Family history of congenital heart defects B. History of tuberous sclerosis C. Extracardiac abnormality or D. Echogenic foci The answer is echogenic foci. Question 22. Which of the following maternal conditions is not an indication for a fetal echocardiography exam? A. Maternal diabetes B. Maternal connective tissue disorder C. Maternal hyperthyroidism or D. Maternal use of alcohol The answer is maternal hyperthyroidism. Question 23. The American Institute of Ultrasound in Medicine guidelines for performing a fetal echocardiogram is A. 12 to 16 weeks B. 16 to 18 weeks C. 18 to 22 weeks or D. 24 to 28 weeks The answer is C. 18 to 22 weeks Question 24, which of the following maternal infections is not an indication for a fetal heart exam? A, human immunodeficiency virus or HIV, B, rubella, C, cytomegalovirus, or D, parvovirus. The answer is A, human immunodeficiency virus or HIV. Question 25, what type of rhythm is demonstrated here? A, sinus tachycardia, B, supraventricular tachycardia, C, atrial flutter, or D, atrial fibrillation? The answer is B, supraventricular tachycardia. Well, that concludes our first 25 questions. I will write 25 more questions and upload that video as soon as possible. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.